Hi, good morning, everyone. How are you? <laughs> so to, you can use one half watercolor paper again, or you can use one whole watercolor paper, okay? Pencil, eraser first. You, we will not be needing the coin, but if you want to use the coin, you can, but not really, we don't need the coin, okay? Watercolor materials later on. Uh, let's draw first. Let's wait for the other three more minutes, then let's begin exactly at night. Okay. Let me get the attendance first. Andy, Carlos, Maria, and Lucas, Dominic, Liam Chung. Sabine, Stacy, Alexi, and Jax. And Zara. Zara will be sharing screen with Yam. Hello. Hi, Audrey. Good morning. Ayon, Ayela. Good morning, Ayela. Watercolor paper, pencil, and eraser for now. Watercolor paper can be one half. Okay, hey, doesn't have to be big. <coughs> okay, it's already nine o'clock. Uh, not sure if someone else is joining, but let's give them another minute. Okay? Yes, Carlos. Like that, yes, standing. So, uh, for three, okay. We'll be doing a bunny today. It's a rabbit. Someone, so I asked last time, diba? So I think bunny or rabbit was the more popular one. I'm waiting for Diego from California. I hope he can still join. Anyway, let's begin. Ready? Wait on. Okay, let's start. So this is our paper. You can, uh, I zoom it out. And then we're going to leave some area for the ears. Okay, so... Wait, wait you, lang. I haven't cut my paper yet. Uh, okay, don't worry. Audrey, you can still use one hole naman. If you want to make... If you don't want to cut your paper. Okay, 
So this will be, this area will be for the ears. Give some area for the ears. Not too high then naman the ears. So give, leave some space. So maybe the ears will be here. What are we gonna draw, teacher? We're gonna draw bunny. Okay. Oh, yay. If you want to get the 20 peso coin, we can use the 20 peso coin just to be uh, just to be consistent with everybody's uh, no, uh, size. It's like the cute okay. kind of bunny or the realist. Yeah. Always get the 20 peso coin in handy. We might use it, we might not use it, but we for consistency for everybody so that everybody will be on the same size, right? We can use the 20 peso coin. So I'm going to use the 20 peso coin na lang. I'm gonna, but this is the middle part of the, the paper. I'm going to go high a little. Okay? So middle, go up a little. Okay? And let's do a sketch. This will be just a guide. This will not be the face of the bun. It's just a guide. Okay? So from the middle, go up 20 peso coin trace. This is this is super light sketch, okay? So don't make it too hard. We will erase this one eventually. From from this part of this one, I'll continue. Huh? You can uh, give me a raised hand icon if you want me to wait for you, okay? So we can finish before night. 30 and we can start watercolor by 9 30 okay we can do half uh, half an hour drawing half an hour color okay let's do it fast so we don't get delayed okay so on top of this head i'm gonna do a um a curve like this one go up and then down i'm gonna zoom in okay as you get stacy let's wait for stacy okay and they just came in. Okay. Lay, we just started. So 20 peso coin lay. Just trace it with the pencil. We're gonna do a bunny. Okay. I'm gonna finish this one up. This one on top, like this, and then another curve on here. So like this one. And this will be the top head of my bunny. So like this, make a curve outside that circle. This circle is just our guide. Okay? That will not be the head of the bunny. And then some furry head on top and then make another curve like this one. Make it balanced on both left and right. I will now erase this upper part of the circle. We don't really need that. We just need that for the guide, as a guide, okay? So just to, just to um, repeat everything for Lei. Lei, you, you get your coin, put it in the middle, diba? go up a little, then trace your 20 peso coin on top, just a light sketch. Then on top of that 20 peso coin, let's just do the head, so this is the top head of the bunny. It's a furry head like this. And I'll check later, huh? Hold on. And I'll tell you when to show it in the camera. And then um, erase the upper part of the circle. Okay. On the side, let's do a line like this one. And then two lines on the side. Over here, just some random lines like this. You can okay. wait, I'm not yet done. Okay. The others who can follow this one, you can just copy this, okay? I'm gonna zoom in. So do some fur side lines from the head like this
Okay? So, this is the circle a while ago from the 20 peso coin. Correct? At the lower part of the 20, of uh, this one, this curve, I'm gonna draw a, the nose, like this one, just a reverse curve, and then close it up, add a highlight, and then let's shade it. At the end of this curve, let's draw one curve like this and another curve like this one on the other side. Balance it out. And then we're going to erase na that circle completely. If you want the eyes, if you want the eyes to go closer, you can later on. Okay. So this is. The line kanina, this is the end of the coin, the the circle. This We're gonna do starting to get cute. It's like a fox popping out of the box very slowly. <laughs> yes, that's right. So we're gonna make the cute bunny, the cutest bunny. <laughs> okay, so let's do the the line in the middle. Let's do a line and then out curve and another out curve like this. My eyes are a bit too far apart, so maybe I'll make it closer together. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just going to adjust mine. So this is, I can still see the other one a while ago. I'm just gonna make it closer lang. And this is the end of the eye actually, so it's not actually, it's not. <laughs> yes, Liam. Yeah, look, yeah, looks good, Liam. But later, you can still adjust the eyes. Huh? Let's finish the eyes first. Okay. I'll, I'll show you the eyes actually. The eyes will be something like this. Make a curve going like this and make another curve going like this. So if your eyes are too far apart, make it closer. Do this one first. Adjust this one. Okay, Because we're going to do this one. This curve like this and like this one. If you're happy with the, the, the placing of the eyes already, then you can start drawing inside. But if you're not yet happy, this, this eye is going to be where it should be. Okay? You can adjust it. Mine is too. This one's too low. So balance it left and right. Okay? I'm gonna zoom out, huh? <coughs> Zara looks good. Yes, looks balanced. Hey, <laughs> Jazz has eyes already. Good, Carlos. Good, uh, Carlos. You can fix a little the left one, just a little. Balance it lang ng order. Okay, let's draw the inside of the eye. I'm going to make a curve inside like this one. You know, um, what do you call this? A comma, like this one. It's, an, it's a curve and then like this. Can you see? I'm going to zoom in. Huh? So it's like a reverse comma. Here naman on the other side, it's a comma naman. Like this. Make a curve and then like that. Can you see? And then let's shade the outside. I, yeah, <laughs> outside of that highlight. So, uh, mirror image lang, ha? mirror of the other side of this one. You can see naman. This is more clear. So, yeah, looks cute, Liam. 
Like this. Let me see, Alexi. Yes, that's good. Looks balanced, Alexi. Very nice, Ayela. That looks so nice. Luca, so good. Hey, just check on. Huh? Look from from afar. Look at your work from afar. See if it's balanced. Okay. If it's not balanced, then you can adjust. Okay. So, but don't. Um, I mean, it's okay to keep on erasing. But if we are here in the workshop, just a little balance will do. Doesn't have to be really, really perfectly balanced. Okay. Let's continue. All good? Raise hand if not yet. Okay, Carlos, say. <coughs> Zoom out so you can see where my paper is, how the, the size. Okay. You can also do a different eye. Jazz already did a different eye. She did the circle, circle thing, the highlights. So if you want to do a different eye, you can. You can. Girls, if you want to add eyelash, you can also do that. You can also add a little fur going on top. Okay? You can also add a blush, an ov oval blush over here. Balance it now. Okay? But those are details that you can, <laughs> you can add or you don't want to add. Okay? Wait, are we going to add whiskers to the bunny? Yes, we will. Wait, wait, wait for... short whiskers. Yes, wait, huh, Alexi. We'll get to that. We'll do the ears first. Okay? All good? Let's start on the ears. The ears will be... You do this one first. Okay? I'm going to zoom in. So make this one first and then do another one on the other side. Balance it like this one so how the how far apart from <laughs> one another the left side that's also sh that should be the same on the right side okay so estimate balance it all right once you got that it means you know where it will start and where it will stop okay connect it this one will where it will start and where it will stop to okay this one, I'm going to go up high and then come back down over here. Light sketch. So it's something that you, you want to adjust, something that you can easily erase, okay? If you want higher, bigger, or something, you can. So yeah, I'm going to make it a little bigger than that, than my first one. Then tightly sketch. Do the left ear first, okay? And then I'm going to do the right ear next, okay? So right ear, I'm going to do an invisible line. And then this is the top. This is the top ear, diba? Right? This is the top. See this ruler? This is the top. If you want a balanced ear, same left and right, it's fine. I'm going to do a flip, uh, uh, the ear that is folded ear. So it's going to be... A little lower, like this one over here. Okay, so it's going to be curving until here. Okay, and then curve out. <laughs> a V over here, like this, like a letter V, and then close it. This one over here. Okay, so do this one first. This one on top. Connect on the left side. Do a curve on the right, okay, and then do a letter V, and then connect on the lower part. Let's double the inside of the ears, okay? Just double it, follow the distance one side, and then do the another one inside. Double the line inside lang. 
the distance from here should also be the same over here. Okay, then add a line on top. Over here, I'm just gonna do a double line and another line. I'm gonna shade it. Uh, don't shade it, but if you want to shade it, you can. I'm just gonna show you that it's an inside of the ear. So you can see, you don't need to shade yours. I'm gonna shade mine so just you know that it's actually the inside, okay? And then I'm gonna do another line over here. Starting to look like a Pikachu. <laughs> Okay, hey, let's wait for everyone. If you're done, you can show me your work. <laughs> Lucas, that looks good. Liam, good. Liam Chung, very nice. So cute. I like the eyes. Uh, Dominic? Shithia, that is my sister's. Not mine. Zara, okay. That's cute. Dominic, can we fix the eye, Dominic? You can do two circles na lang. If, it's, if this one is hard, erase it, then make two circles. You remember the circle eye, like this, oh. And then two circles, like this, Dominic. It's done. So it will... Yeah, it's okay. We're waiting for you. Ayela, so cute. Good. Who is not yet done? Was that Audrey? Yeah, I'm not yet done. Okay. I'm fixing the eyes. <coughs> okay. Liam, so nice. Good. Liam, fix on over here lang. Just to balance a little. Ayela, good. I see yours. Ayela shaded the blush. You can also shade uh, the blush if you like. Yeah, what will I balance? This one lang, Liam. Just a little lang. Okay. Make it higher lang ng kote. Okay. Andy, Stacy, Sabine, Lay, let me see yours if you want me to check, okay? Stacy, so nice. <laughs> Okay, concentrate on your work, huh? Make sure you are keeping up so that we can we will not wait for you for so long. Others are already done. That's so cute, Sabine. Kinda looks like a Pikachu talaga. <laughs> okay, one more minute and then we'll continue now. Okay. Okay, okay for me to go move on. Raise hand if not yet ready. Okay, Carlos. So, ears, right? And then Put double the lines inside, add some lines over here. The others, if you want to, if you want to, like this one, I'm going to erase the middle part and then I'm gonna change it to like, like hair, fur, like, see that? Okay, you can, you can erase the middle and then do a double, double lines like that. So it's kind of like, Hair, fur, like that. Okay? Also this one. So like a grass. So the others while waiting, you can do some small details, changes like that. <coughs> Audrey, let me see yours. You're good. 
Yeah, I'm done. Okay. okay. Nice. So cute. Okay. Let's continue, Carlos. Good. Nice too, Carlos. Later, Carlos, I'll let you fix the ears, the left side lang. Okay? Make it pointy. If you want it uh, curve, it's fine. Okay? But later, you fix it. Okay? Let's continue. Let's close this one on the side. Let's do a chubby cheek over here. Okay? Maybe. Sorry. 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 Let's erase that. I'm going to find the middle muna. Do another um like this one. Do another curve on the chin. So this is the, the end of the chin. You know the nose is here, so you know the middle, right? And then you can do another curve over here on the side. Do another curve over here on the side. Curve, curve. And then let's close it with a chubby cheek like this. If it's too low, I'm going to make it higher. Okay? So I'm going to make this one a little higher. Teacher. Yes. I yes, so Ayela. Why are the cheeks so big? Huh? Why are the cheeks so big? You want it smaller? You can. You mm -hmm. can make it smaller. Okay? Wait, I'm going to I'm going to turn my paper towards me now so that the cheek will be a little higher like this, yeah. So you can, you can make, make, I want to make a big mama. <laughs> a big mama rabbit. Yeah, you can. Hey, there. So you balance it, Ayala. If you don't want the cheeks to be big, it's fine. If you want it a little closer to the face, it's also fine. Hey, and then we're going to do the whiskers going out over here. One, two, three. Swish your pencil, okay? Then this one going up. Two, three. Like that. Swish your pencil. If you want the eyes, you want to fix the eyes a little, make it curve like that. You can do, okay? Not too oval, but more on a teardrop shape. Teardrop shape. So if you want to make the mouth um, a little curve more like this, and you can also do that. Okay, so do some adjustments that you want to do some adjustments with. Okay, so find the end of the chin and then do a very small curve. If you want it big, you can, but look at it if it looks nice or not, okay? Doesn't look nice, erase it again. Make a smaller curve. This one is wide and the curve is really small and long, okay? So it's more wide, going wide, not going low. You can see the angle of your curves. So... May uh change it up a bit, okay? Experiment on the size of the curve of your chin. Okay? If you want, if you don't want a chin over here, then you can close it naman, like this. Or or go lower, actually. You can go lower. Do an, a, a low one. And, okay, so you can change it. I'm gonna stay with this one. Okay. If you want to do an sec, uh, another curve going low, you can also do that. I'm going to add a little eyebrow. Do you think eyebrows are good? <laughs> if you want. May I make it buffy? Yes, you can. <laughs> Puffy eyebrows. 
Okay. So let's just finish it up with the with like the two feet coming out like this one. So just a curve like this and another curve like this one. Okay, and then two lines, two lines. And then make the body like this one. And then I'm going to do the body another one like this. So it's just random lines, some zigzag lines for the fur. So it's not really that close. Make a curve over here, left foot, and then right foot, another curve like this. I'm going to darken some of the lines and do some adjustments, okay? Like, Carlos, you can do adjustments for the ears as well. Make this one a little, like, pointy, okay? Your light sketches, you can do adjustments na now. So I'm doing some adjustments. Make some of those lines darker if you like. And then you can also make like the lines, diba? not really curved. You can skip some of the lines, make it furry. So like this one. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Um, yes. That's it, the body just for. Yes. Then we can add. It's actually, I'm planning to do a, like, it's like coming out from a basket. So we can add a curve over here and then a, like a teacup or a basket. So you can do your own designs like this. It's like, I wanted uh, to be holding a cow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can do that. So it's like um it's like holding a paper or you can make it like it's uh hanging out from a basket. So it's up to you what you want. So it's not a whole body. We're not gonna draw the whole body. And I want you to design your own under. Okay. So it's something that you can actually add after okay if you want it holding a paper and then you can use this one for for father's day actually so you can add happy father's day as a note you can also make this one like a teacup if you want so if you want it to be it's like coming out from teacup or coming out from a basket. You can also do that. So if it's a basket, it's going to be something. Okay. So you can design where whatever. Just put a line over here. Uh, yeah, okay. I think it should, this should be blue. So it's up to you what design you want under. Okay. But we will try to paint the bunny. So the bunny, it's up to you if you want to paint it white and then just add a little shade of pink. You can also paint the bunny brown and then add a little shade of pink. If you're going to paint the bunny, keep it white, what you should do is decorate or paint the background. Okay? So, <coughs> wait, I'm just going to get some of my water. For the others, keep on drawing. So if you want to decorate it already, the whole thing you can keep. So you can um, finalize your drawing under it. Okay? But it's up to you what you want under. So the bunny is just half body and it's peeking out from something. Okay? You can balance also the hands. Wait, I'm just going to grab my cup of water. <laughs> <laughs>
The thing about the bunny is that it has minimal minimal color. That's why you need to decorate something on where it this one. Like the all the colors will be coming out over here on this part. Okay. <laughs> so like this one. I'm gonna turn this one into a um Zara, that looks so good. Decorate it with hearts, with stars, butterflies, so whatever you want to decorate it with. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw like a basket type, like this one. And then it's gonna be a simple one, like this. Okay. And then sorry, yeah. If you want to add some carrots behind it, you can also do that. Okay. So drawing of the carrots will be wait, let's not close this one. So for the carrots, it's going to be curve and then a V, like this one, and then just like this. Okay. And then some lines over here. So the colors are more on the lower part, this, this lower part over here. Because the rabbit itself, it's very, the, col the rabbit will be very light, okay? Mine, I will keep my rabbit white. And I have, if you have white paint, you can paint over it, okay? So, uh, hold on then. I'm just going to make some adjustments over here. I'm going to make this one lower. So usually for the rabbit that is white or brown, if you want to make this one brown you can okay make this the shaded part the inside of the ear really really light like very pinkish watery red so the red should be really watery okay who oh, got disconnected and then also this part so grab your watercolor paper now, uh, watercolor materials now, and then start painting, okay? So really, really light red, full, more water, less paint on the inside of the ear. Also on the blush over here, this one. Then I'm just going to grab my black pen, and I'm going to... um. Paint more on the eyes, like this one. This is a black ball pen, okay? So I'm just going to shade it with black. If you're going to do the brown bunny, then make sure that you have very light brown as well. Don't make it too dark. Or else it will uh it might ruin everything. Okay. And then also make sure that okay. EM is back. Make sure that you have um don't paint something beside each other that is wet. I'm using black ball pen over here, so you can use your black pen. To do some outlines, okay. Just I'm keeping this bunny white. 
And then you can decorate the background. Okay, you can make a circle at the background or a big carrot at the background. So it's up to you what you want. When you use your black pen, you don't need to outline the whole thing. Huh? You can skip some of the lines like this one. So it's like, like the fur, fur type. I'm using a fine liner, a sign, like a sign pen. Then once it dries, then you can start, um, you can erase the pencil lines, but make sure it's really, really dry. Okay. You follow your pencil lines, you do the whiskers same way. So swish, swish it out. Okay. Teacher, wait. I have to get my floor. Okay. Very light painting for today, but we will be more paint painting more on this part. So it's more on uh, the lower part of the rabbit. The rabbit itself, it's just very light color, right? And then here, you can start painting it. You can start uh, decorating the basket or this whole, the one that he's holding or hiding from, okay? Make sure that you drop the color on the left and then keep the right highlight. So we have um, color on the left side and then drag with water going to the other side. So you have dark and light, okay? So like this one, see that? You can paint the whole thing first and then once it dries, you can darken some sides like this and then add some of those lines. Make sure don't paint beside, sun. like this one, this is wet. So I'm going to try to go around it so it will not bleed or it will not um, will not get, will not stain each other, okay? I'm gonna mix some color. So one side is blue, one side is purple, like this. So you can mix colors as well, like that. Okay.
I'm going to darken some of those greens as well. Then add something on to your background, okay? You can add different things. You can do some hard. Then outline again, you can darken some of the paintings. You always start with your painting with light, huh? with um, very light shade, and then you can eventually darken. Once you go start dark, kasi, it's not easy to make it lighter. But if you start light, it's more easy to make it darker, right? So here it's already dry. I'm darkening it again. I'm adding another shade of another layer of paint. So it's easy to do that. But if you start dark, then it's not easy to make it lighter already. Okay? Remember that, huh? Always start with a lighter shade and then later on you can keep on adding color to make it darker. You have questions, you can raise hand, huh? So just keep on working and then you can type in the chat if you're done. You can type that. Not yet done yet. It's okay, Audrey. Yeah, keep on working. You still have plenty of time. You still have 15 minutes, actually. The bunny is really cute. Yeah. <gasps> I'm just going to do some random circles at the background. So it's just for design. Yes. Because the bunny is so white, right? So it's more, the designs it's are more no on the color. other. I made a cupcake headband on my bunny. Ah, really? Yeah, for the girls, if you want to add ribbon on top of the bunny head, you can. For the boys, if you want to add a tuxedo, what do you call this one? A ribbon at the neck part, you can also do that. Okay? So if you want to recreate this bunny again, you can add different um, anything. Okay? Always... It's nice to recreate what we learn, so you can do it twice. It's the 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 details or something that you can retain more if you do it another second time around. <laughs> 
sometimes the ball pen, the black ball pen, sometimes it's actually water based. So when you add, when you start using the ball pen and then you add watercolor, it the it it ano, it bleeds as well. So the black water, the black ink from the pen can sometimes bleed out. So watch out for that. Um, the pen I'm using it's actually um water based. You can see it's written there, water based pigment. So there's a tendency for this one to bleed out. So watch. Um, I think Sharpie is alcohol based, so it doesn't bleed with the water. So if you have Sharpie fine point, the not the marker Sharpie, yeah, the other one, the like the sign pen, like the ball pen type, you can use that to do some of the outlines. So the lesson for today is actually simple. The lesson tomorrow, it's going to be more on drawing. Okay? We might, uh, I might, parang there will be less time for painting, but we'll try. So let's try to focus more on drawing tomorrow. Which part do you like, drawing or painting? Painting. <laughs> painting. Okay. Sige. Let's do a simple, sige, I'll reverse it. I'll find some lesson that is simple to draw more on painting. Sige, if you really like painting pala. I'm gonna show you something. Uh, okay, painting is more challenging. Okay, this one is a simple bunny, but you can check the link. I sent it via chat. So you can see it's the, <laughs> the carrots at the background. You can try to do that too. Okay, and then do a circle at the back. Then it's something that it, it's a, a background. Background bunny, I mean background painting as well. Okay, so it the bunny stays white, then more on the background color. So add add carrots at the background like that, and a circle like a sun at the back. Okay. And can you see? So this is an, an idea that you can actually copy to. The, the carrots at the back, you see the bunny will stay white, right? So the carrots will be at the back, half carrots like that. The basket is there. And then there's another circle, big circle at the back that will serve as a background. Okay. Okay. 